In this work, we present an adversarial learning framework that enables physically simulated characters to perform challenging tasks by imitating behaviors from unstructured datasets containing diverse motion clips. Adversarial learning has been a powerful framework for solving synthesis problems, such as image generation, and provides flexible techniques for controlling the behavior of generative models using large unstructured datasets. However, when applied to motion imitation tasks, the motion quality produced by adversarial techniques often falls short of what has been achieved by more standard motion tracking methods. Motion tracking can be a very effective approach for imitating individual motion clips, but applying tracking-based methods to large and diverse motion datasets often entails significant manual and algorithmic overhead. Given a dataset of motion clips, tracking-based techniques typically need to annotate the clips with task-specific labels before using the clips to construct a motion planner. When training the character to perform a particular task, the character queries the motion planner to select an appropriate clip to track for the given task. However, building an effective motion planner can itself be a challenging endeavor. In this paper, we present a framework that avoids these limitations by using an adversarial motion prior. The motion prior can be trained with large datasets of unstructured motion clips and acts as a general measure of similarity between the character's motions and the motions in the dataset. The motion prior is used to specify a style objective that encourages the character to imitate behaviors from the dataset as it performs a particular task. Our policies are trained using reinforcement learning with a reward function that combines the style objective from the motion prior with a task objective, which specifies high-level goals that the character should fulfill. This decomposition allows users to control the high-level behaviors of the character using relatively simple task reward functions, while the low-level style of the character's motions can be controlled automatically using the motion prior. Given a dataset of motion clips that define a desired behavioral style for the character, the motion prior is modeled as an adversarial discriminator, trained to predict if a given state transition is from the dataset or the stimulated character. The predictions from the discriminator is then used as the style objective for training the policy. This then allows the character to perform tasks while imitating various behaviors in the dataset, without requiring any annotations of the motion clips or an explicit motion planner. The character can be trained to perform tasks in distinct styles by providing the motion prior with different datasets. We incorporate a number of design decisions into our system that improve stability during training and produce substantially higher fidelity motions than prior adversarial systems. First, we evaluate our framework on a single clip imitation task, where each policy is trained to imitate a single reference motion by optimizing against the motion prior. Our method is able to imitate a wide range of skills without requiring manual reward engineering. The motion prior produces results of comparable quality to those achieved using motion tracking. But unlike prior motion tracking techniques, our approach does not require a manually designed tracking objective, nor does it require synchronization between the policy and the reference motion. Our method can also produce high quality results for complex non-humanoid characters, such as a 59 degrees of freedom T-Rex and a 64 degrees of freedom dog. In addition to imitating individual motion clips, the motion prior can also easily accommodate large motion datasets. By combining the motion prior with additional task objectives, the character can be trained to perform more complex tasks while imitating the behaviors depicted in the dataset. In this target speed task, the character learns to perform different locomotion gates depending on the target speed. Transitions between different gates emerge automatically. No explicit blending between clips are needed to produce the transitions. The character exhibits naturalistic behaviors, such as banking into turns and slowing down before large changes in direction. 
These intricate strategies emerge automatically from the motion prior, without requiring a motion planner or manual annotations. The character can be trained to perform a task in different styles by simply providing the motion prior with different reference motions. Since the motion prior is task agnostic, the same motion prior can be used for different tasks, such as this challenging dribbling task, where it can be difficult to design an effective motion planner. Note that the dataset does not contain any dribbling motion clips, but the model is able to adapt the behaviors shown in the dataset to this new task. Anyone up for some zombie soccer? Additional getup motions can be included in the dataset. which then allows the character to get back up in a natural manner after falling. The character automatically learns to execute a get-up skill after falling, without the need for a motion planner. Next, we train the motion prior with a collection of walking and punching motions. This can then be used to train a character to walk to a target and punch it. When the target is far away, the character imitates various walking motions in order to move towards the target. When the target is close by, the character transitions to a punching motion in order to strike the target. Our approach can also be used to train visual motor policies to traverse irregular environments in different styles. Here, the model is trained with a dataset of locomotion and rolling motion clips which leads the character to perform different skills in order to clear the various obstacles. Next, we evaluate the effects of different design decisions. Regularizing the discriminator with the gradient penalty is vital for stable training and high quality results. Including velocity observations for the discriminator can help avoid spurious local optima. We compare our method to policies trained without any motion data and policies trained using a latent space model. The baseline policies trained without motion data tend to produce unnatural and awkward behaviors. The latent space policies are able to produce more natural behaviors than the baseline policies. But these methods enforce a behavioral style implicitly through a latent representation, rather than explicitly through an objective. Therefore, these models are still prone to exhibiting some visual artifacts. Our method directly encourages a policy to imitate a motion dataset through the objective function, which results in higher quality motions.
More details are available in the paper. Thanks for watching.